like we mentioned, there's tons of targets available. And that's one of the reasons I moved him up to number two is I'm hoping for that type of the, the Todd Gurley jump that he made last year. Maybe Zeke. He's always been a great pass protector. Have you seen any more hints that he might be more involved in the passing game at all? Yeah, you know, just uh, watching them out of training camp, um, th- there were there were times, there were moments. And, and I don't know that the Cowboys want to – you know, really go far down that road. I, and I think we can all understand why, you know, you want to be protective of Zeke, but I don't think there's any um, doubt that Zeke can perform well in the passing game. And I certainly believe that Zeke will be more involved in the passing game than he's ever been. That's not a big stretch of the imagination, of course, because he's so infrequently involved. But I mean, you know, when I think of Zeke in the passing game, I think of two plays, and it's really easy, but I think of the screenplay he took to the house in Pittsburgh, his rookie season. And mm-hmm. I think of the same exact play that he did against the San Francisco 49ers last season. In fact, um, he did a like a diagnosing of that play for DallasCowboys.com, so it was really cool to kind of hear him set up why it worked and why it was successful. But Zeke has that potential, and the Cowboys have the offensive line to get out in space and block out for him well beyond the second layer. I definitely believe that he's going to be more involved. Is he going to be Todd Gurley or Marshall Falk, for that matter? I know that there's some report that Zeke's studying him. I don't know. I don't think so. But I definitely think that that volume is going to increase.